Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about why the PHP Hydra is the best. Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about why the PHP Hydra is the best chip for your 7.3 power stroke. So what I wanna do is uh, I wanna cover what's in the box and, uh, and what's the reason you would want a TS chip. But before that, what I wanna talk about is uh, the, the different types of tuners, if you will, for a 7.3. So you've got two different types. You've got chips and you have programmers. A chip is actually going to sit on the PCM. It's gonna plug into the, the port on the PCM, a J3 port, um, and it's just going to remain there uh, at all times. A programmer is gonna plug into the OBD2 port on the truck and you will flash it. So that's when you would have like an SDT or like an older, like an edge device uh, or something like that, or, you know, a, a super chips, a hypertech, whatever, something that plugs in the OBD2 port and you, you know, you gotta do key cycles and wait around and flash it, it takes a while. So that's a programmer. Chips are awesome. And one of the, one of the beautiful things about a 7.3 is that we can run these uh, because of the J3 port on the PCM. And it makes it so you have access to lots of different tunes uh, at the, you know, the flip of a, a knob or, or just pushing a button on a controller. You don't have to flash the PCM every time you want to switch tunes. It's really awesome. Now, there's, there's different kinds. You've got chips like this, Hydra, that we're going to talk about. Um, you've got like these uh, Quadzilla Arachnids like this. Um, basically the same thing. They just plug in to the J3 port uh, just like a PHP Hydra would. The downside to everything other than a PHP Hydra is that anytime you want to change the tuning on the chip, uh, or if, let's say you change injectors, or you put a built transmission in your truck, or you put big tires on it and you need new tuning, that tuning, uh, the chip has to be sent back to whoever the, the tuning company is to be flashed. And that's not real convenient, especially like let's say you put bigger injectors in your truck and, uh, and you, you do get proper tuning for it, but you don't like it and there's something that needs to be adjusted. Well, now your truck is gonna be down because you can't drive it with the bigger injectors uh, properly while your chip gets sent off for a few weeks. So this is where the PHP Hydra comes in and why I love this chip for a 7.3 and why really there isn't a place, in my opinion, for much else in the market. So the, the Hydra is the same thing. It plugs in the, you know, the J3 port on the PCM, but you can use Hydra Flash's software um, made by Power Hunger Performance, the manufacturer. You can use their software and you can flash different tunes on the chip yourself. You can do it at home. So as long as you have a Windows computer and, uh, and an internet connection to download the tunes, um, you can flash them on the chip, you can change them whenever you want. So what we have in the box, we've got a controller, and this is where you're gonna, you're gonna push the buttons. You can hear the clickies. They're very tactile, I like that. You've got uh, the controller, this is where you're, it's gonna display two numbers. Um, this is gonna tell you what position the chip is in, and that's gonna connect to the, the Hydra itself. This is gonna connect to the chip that's in your PCM. And that is gonna connect with a ribbon cable like this. So what you would have is you would have your ribbon cable that's gonna to connect to the bottom of your connector or the bottom of your controller. Your controller is gonna to connect to the Hydra like so. And then now when this chip sits in your PCM, you'll be able to display what, what tune position you're in. It's pretty awesome. And now whatever tunes you have loaded on here uh, you can just push the up and down arrows and you can move up and down between your tunes and the change happens pretty much instantly. It's pretty cool. So whether you're running canned tunes, custom tunes, whatever, um, you can easily switch between them anytime you want. Now a couple more benefits of the Hydra are, uh, it has two things. The very bottom position on the chip, so what's gonna display is zero, zero, that is going to be stock. So if you have the chip in your truck, you can very easily return it to stock simply by just putting it in zero, zero, which is bypass mode. So basically what that means is, it's just not gonna load uh, a, a file um, into, into RAM. It's not gonna load a file to the chip when you, when you turn the key on. So that's really handy for diagnostic purposes or whatever, you don't have to actually go in and physically remove the chip. The other cool thing is if you push the button all the way up, um, the very last position on the chip is always gonna be no start. And what no start does is it, just that, it keeps the truck from starting. So if you're worried about your truck getting stolen, um, that's a great feature of this chip and it doesn't require any special tune to use it. Um, and the cool thing about it too is it requires a key cycle 
to get out of no start. So let's say that somebody figured out that you could push the button to get out of that, out of that position on the chip. Um, unless they have the key to do a key cycle, uh, the, the, the truck still isn't going to start. Now, obviously, you could just remove the chip, but hopefully when you installed this, you installed it, you know, taped up so it's not easy to remove anyway. But along with that, it's going to come with a, it's going to come with a brush. This is going to be for cleaning the silicone. There's lots of videos on how to, how to clean the PCM. Um, again, this is for cleaning the silicone. One tip I'll give you, don't use this to remove the silicone. Use the brush because this will remove metal really fast too. That's the last step, just the last little piece. Um, now this is new. They didn't used to, uh, but the, they, they're going to, they come with a six foot uh, cable to connect the Hydra to a, to your like Windows computer. So you can leave this installed in the chip. So you can connect it to the uh, USB port on the chip like so. And then you can plug the chip into your PCM on your truck. And then you can run this cable up, you know, wrap it around something, stick it under your dash, whatever. So that now not only can you flash the tunes yourself, uh, you can flash the tunes yourself with a laptop without even taking the chip out of your truck. A um, couple other little things. It comes with some zip ties. So you can zip tie stuff out of the way. Um, or you can you just keep the zip ties in your glove box like everybody else. And then, um, and then just have some Velcro here. And this Velcro... There we go. So satisfying. Velcro um, is just going to connect to the back of the controller uh, and then onto your dash if you want to mount it that way. We also have these cool uh, flush mounts that uh, you can cut, you know, a hole in the dash and then the Hydra just seats uh, very nicely inside of it. That's another option too. So a little bit of instruction stuff like that, but that's the basics. That's why I like the Hydra. Um, if you guys have more questions about a PHP Hydra or if you want to order one, if you want to order one with our custom tuning, you can go to 1023 and that's going to be linked down in the description of this video also.